What is going on guys and welcome back to the Versatorix Gaming Channel. Today we have a brand new game on the channel. This is a game that came up in the Steam Winter Sale that we've just had. And it was called Aliens by a Team Elite. Now I personally love the Aliens franchise. I think it's superb. Most of the Aliens games have been rather underwhelming though in my opinion. But this seems to have decent reviews to it. And I thought you know what? Let's have a go. Let, it was on offer. I brought it. I thought, let's have a go. Let's see what it's like. And so we're going to we're gonna give it a go today. I've never played it. I have no idea what it is. All I've done is I've reduced the volume settings ever so slightly. So hopefully you can still hear me over all the firing and everything. If not, the next episode, I will make sure that that is much better. I have All I've done is I've gone onto YouTube. I found somebody playing the game. Blown it up massive so I know where to put my webcam and where also up that end to put me Versatorix thing. That's all I've done. I have not watched any game footage. I have not watched anything to do with this game. This is a complete blind playthrough. So let's get into it. So we're feminine or masculine. We're going to go with masculine. Let's choose a face. So we're creating our character here. I think we're going to go with... I think maybe this face. Yeah, we're going to go with face number nine. Eye colour, we're going to go green. We go a light... Oh, yes, a light green. The cat is messing with stuff up there. Hairstyle. I mean, I have buzz cuts, so let's just go with the buzz cut light. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Facial hair. We'll go with a bit of a beard. Hair colour, we're going to go with like a... That's like a that colour, maybe. No, we'll go with the dark colour. Let's have a look at the Let's voices. Rock. <laughs> Anytime, anywhere. We are ultimate badasses. Okay, so one, two, and three are definitely the feminine voices. I got your back. Hoorah. Hoorah. Bag em and tag em. Notch up another kill. Stay frosty. I got your back. Bag em and tag em. I got your back. Stay frosty. Hoorah. Stay frosty. Simper five. Notch up another kill. Hmm. Anytime, anywhere. Anytime. I got your back. Bag him and tag him. Bag We're gonna go with number four. Em. We're gonna go with number four. Why not? Great character. Now, we didn't name the character. I'm assuming we don't name him. Or I've just completely missed the fact that we actually have to name him. My hey. parents were scientists. They taught me biology is war. To win, a species must endure, reproduce, survive. That's right. Sounds right to me. The foes we're about to face evolved to win at all costs. They don't care about their losses. So long as they're the last ones standing. Ooh. They're as cunning, adaptable, and tenacious as any marine. But they lack our purpose, our conscience, and our mercy. That's probably why they win. Marine Expeditionary Unit, this fight is not a simple bug hunt. Know our enemy. Know your strengths. Work together and live to fight another day. Okay. Colonel Ship. Signing off. Okay, so this is a third-person shooter by the looks of it. Movement. Okay. All looks good. We can see we've got different things on the side there. Noise. We press three. We go into pistol. Okay. Four is health. Let's see. Cannot use. Not gonna throw a bomb or a thing, but how do I? Okay, so I can. I can switch between the two weapons like so. Okay, let's talk to. Shake the cryo freeze off, Marine. We got woke by a distress call. A Dr. Tim Hanukkah sent a mayday from an orbital refinery. Situation ain't clear, but on the outer rim, there's always a chance of xenomorphs. Okay. Board the station, find Hanukkah, and extract them. 
Staff Sergeant Herrera will be the voice in your ear. She'll guide you, warn you of enemy movements, and provide support. Okay. Might want to talk to Herrera before you deploy. Understood. Right, where's Herrera? There he is. Hey, we didn't get a chance to brief earlier. Short version. While you're on the tip of the spear, I'll be in the dropship with LT Co running Overwatch and eating my abuela's cookies. Okay. You listen to what I say, I'll get your ass out in the smallest possible number of pieces. And you can have a cookie. You got Ooh, any cookie. questions? Now's the time. You don't deploy Hell with us? No, I'll be in the platoon tack ops center running shit by remote. Better me than some butter bark on my mierda fresh out of OCS, huh? Usually I'm in a dropship on Overwatch. When we ain't got air superiority, I'm dirt side in an APC. When things have really gone to shit, I'll be in a foxhole brushing dirt off a laptop with one hand and shooting with the other. Point is, I run ranged sensors and tech support for you. For anything I can't handle, I call Esther. Our battalion okay, synthetic so and android. She's a okay. medical corpsman, science advisor, electronic warfare tech, and MFLC. That's a military and family life counselor. Fancy way to say she listens if you got issues. I don't think an android understands that. While well, we're in the freezers for long trips, Esther and Endeavor's mother computer keep the ship running. She doesn't normally deploy, but we get her on the radio to solve problems. Did the penejos at the recruit depot give you any briefing? No. Or they, they just didn't. kick your ass into cryo and call it a day? Yeah. The Endeavor's a Tianxin class assault ship, cutting edge of the United America's fleet. Built at Welch's station, commissioned in 2194. Okay. Remember the old Conestoga attack transports from the 70s? Well, we're about three times the size. More self sufficient, more amenities, bigger guns. Okay, let's just go. Both. Let's do this. Let's do it. Priority one. Mission number one. We're gonna we're gonna go with. Uh... Oh, okay. So I can actually bring other people in. I see how this goes. Okay, so when I launch this mission, is there a very good chance that other people are gonna join me? Uh, let's just go for standard. Fire team, this yeah, is there a is... rescue mission. You're boarding okay, Katanga, no a derelict orbital refinery. Ingress is via the forward airlock. You'll locate, secure, and evac Dr. Tim Honecker, a Weyland Yutani scientist. Mount up, people. We are gonna go with Gunner. We're just gonna go with Gunner. We have no. Consumables. Are we actually going to find anyone? Because I find it highly unlikely that we're going to find anyone. Okay, so we've got presets. I'm just trying to work my way around it, see what happens. Oh, I'm at green. A little deco. Why not? I just had something come up. Oh, okay, we got somebody. We got two people. Sweet, let's do it then. Let's go for it. I don't know who these two are, but <laughs> let's do it. Hey, Jace, if you're watching this one, mate, this is a game you might need to get. We might need to play this together, Jace. If, uh, if you watch this this episode, you might not watch this one, but uh, if you do, this this is a uh, this one we might have to do together. Waiting for them both to be ready. One's ready. Still waiting for the other one to be ready. Okay, they're both ready. Here we go. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going in with other people. I have no idea. Priority one, ingress. Fire team, this is a rescue mission. You're boarded Katanga, a derelict orbital refinery. Ingress is via the forward airlock. You'll locate, secure, and evac doctor Tim Heineker, a Wayland Utani scientist. Mount up, people. Here we go. Oh, mate, I'm so excited. I didn't realize it was a co op game. I didn't realize you had other people join. It's brilliant. Actually, I actually like 
Oh, imagine playing this with your friends. This would be sick. Okay. Here we go. Loading screen. I didn't genuinely... Oh, that surprised me. That's a... That's a... Sir. I thought you just outkitted a team. I didn't realise you actually had online teammates. Okay, so let's see if we get into this one. We got 50 seconds. We've got myself at 155, another gunner at 155, and a technician at 263. So maybe, just maybe, that we'll, uh, we'll actually be able to do something this time. This will be the third attempt at getting into a game. This is the only issue I'm finding with the game so far. But uh, we're not quite... Okay, he's going technician. We've got two technicians, plus myself. Sky control ready on release sequencer. Initiate on my mark. Let's see if we Three, actually... Okay, two, so we've launched. One. Mark. <laughs> we fully loaded. What are we waiting for here? I'm going to let this load out, and I'll join back when... Uh, when it finishes its loading. Oh, okay, we finished loading. That was pretty quick. There's one of my teammates. Where's the other one gone? Alpha has left the team, so there's just us two. We got a ping on Dr. Honecker's personal data transmitter. He's not far in. First, we need a deck plan. Okay, one there's the terminal and chlorine extraction. Power after we grab Honaker. Here comes our teammate. Okay. Patch into the console. I'll pull it down over wireless. Give me a second. I got a deck plan. Backup generator is beyond Honaker's ping. We can kick it after we grab him. Our men should be in the junction ahead. Honaker, this is the Colonial Marines. You hearing me? Acid damage. Not encouraging. Continue your sweep. Okay. That's one thing to mark down. Right here. Let's blood around. Sentry deployed. High speed incoming. Get hot. Short burst. Way more than I expected. Signal from behind. Welded shut. Sloppy work. Guess Honaker went this way. I don't know where my teammate's going, but we're gonna follow him anyway. Cut 
time. Track down Honaker. Rearming. Searching this whole barge would take too long. Movement. Tell you my Rearming. idea later. Sentry deployed. Sentry deployed. Oh, this game is sick. I haven't got enough room on me. Oh, this is prime location. Sentry deployed. Never seen so much acid in one bug. Where did these come from? Dynamo rooms just ahead. Restart's mostly automated. This is sick. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really enjoying this, although ambush. Okay, so I can hide up here. Oh. Spinning this up is gonna make noise, vibration, heat, whatever bugs key off, they'll catch it. Be ready for a fight when you switch on. Patching up. Grabbing ammo. You see this? Get eyes on this. Let's get some. Sentry's ready to go. This thing's been idle a long while. It's gonna take time to. Here we go. It.
Honestly, I think if you if you love the alien franchise, I've got a feeling you're gonna like this. Judging enough what I've seen so far. Thanks. We'll send a follow-up engineering team to get that mess fixed proper. Rearming. Kids here. Keep heading aft toward the core. Grabbing ammo. I didn't pick up my go me car. I need to, for the next episode, I'm going to need to up my intensity. My intensity's a little low. Oh, shit. Go. Accessing. Thank you. I will be a moment. Got it. While S runs through the logs, you keep heading aft.
Oh shit. He's definitely gonna be dead then, we reckon. Oh, this ain't good. Somebody actually paid for safety rails. Got some big internal leaks. Never a good sign in space. One of these blokes is expecting a fight, they healed up. Sentry deployed. Hear that? Okay, sweet. Sentry deployed. Rearming. Sentry deployed. Here they come. This is a big damn signal. Let's rock. Ah. 
Oh well, this is intense. Oh, this is awful. I got your back. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And stop Honaker. Or his corpse. Whatever. Yo, that was only checkpoint. Oh, thank God for that. My lord. Oh wow, that was uh, that was tough. 140 kills, 115 damage dealt, headshot kills, 63. I'll take that. It says 76. Shot accuracy was awful. I'll take that. Mission time was good. Hanukkah is somewhere up on Katanga's mainframe decks. Looks like he's been searching for a safe there we place go. to hide from all the Xenos aboard. Our mission has. I think. Uh... I think we did pretty well on that bit there. So we're on mission two will be the next episode. So if you have enjoyed that, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment down below. Let me know if you want to join in with some of these games because I'm quite happy for people to join in when I do record them. But uh, obviously it'll be a bit hard to... to, uh, to organise it. There is a Discord server coming soon. Between me and another YouTuber, we are jo doing a joint server so that basically both our communities can join together and we can have one big community. And we get on with each other in real life and, you know, I mean, we're really good friends. So it seems to us that that is a better way to do things. And, yeah, with that, I'm going to love you and leave you. Have a good one, guys.